What's up, folks? This is your boy, Cat Beats, aka The Face, doing a tutorial right now of how to get a cleaner mix out of Reason. No, I did my mixing tutorial like a year ago, but since then, you know, I came up on some, uh, some crucial information. For one, when you make your tracks, for the master and suite, you want to bypass that. The reason why is because there's a, a lot of compression. Well, for mine, I only have an EQ. So, uh, I would suggest that you do the same. Delete everything out of there except for EQ. Um, because the stereo imaging and the compression and everything, it just distorts the sound and makes everything sound muddy. So, what I do is I just delete all that and use just the equalizer and uh, just boost the highs a little bit as you can see right here you can make whatever adjustments you want to make or whatever you know everything else is the same just like the uh, the template you now I got the mixer redrum is routed out got a uh, compressor reverb okay so so I'll go ahead and uh, make a track do something just quick and simple now what I do usually, regardless of the instrument, I kind of boost the treble a little bit, depending on like my instruments, I uh, boost it a lot to about 3 o'clock, depending on uh, how much EQ is already on it, like if it's a combinator, it might not need EQ, but usually it does, I don't know why, but in reason, it just needs EQ, like you gotta boost the treble on these joints. Alright, for my uh, template, I already have it set up to where, for the mixer, everything is kind of boosted a little bit, so for your snares and your claps, uh, you definitely want to boost the treble a little bit, probably about 1 or 2 o'clock, depending on how it sounds, just tweak around until you find what sounds good to you. All right, so I'm gonna lay down a drum pattern real quick. See what I'm gonna do is boost the treble on it, put a little compression on it, and uh, that pretty much does it. You know what I mean? Cleaning up a mix, really. And reason I found um, I don't really do much like when you have your uh, combinators. You know, they have EQ and all this. I don't touch that. I don't even fool with it. You know, unless it's something specific I'm looking for, then, you know, I'll go around and tweak around until I get the sound I'm looking for. But for the most part, I just uh, boost the treble here, and then, you know, when I finish the beat, go up here, boost the EQ a little bit, turn my bypass back to on, once I get done, and then uh, see what it sounds like. And certain sounds, you have to boost the highs a little bit more than others, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. I'm going to finish making this beat for y'all. I'm going to layer this sound real quick. 